Hey everyone, this is 7G Panda and today we're going to do an unboxing and perhaps some advices if you decide to buy the RTX 3090 Aorus X3. Alright, before we start the boxing, I would like to say thank you to Razor Tech. Uh, they're the one who helped me uh, get this awesome stuff, the 3090s. I also have the 3090s MSI Vectus. Oops. It's already connected to my computer, so they're the one also responsible for for giving me this stuff and uh, helping me set it up in my computer. If you want to see the link of their Facebook, see the description below so you can contact them easy. Alright, and also if you are not also subscribed to my channel, please subscribe below and bash that ding dong bell so you will be updated on my future videos all right I already actually opened the, the seal because before I have taken this unit I made sure that it's in good condition all right so this box is really really big compared to the MSI Vectus that I got. <coughs> it's also 3090, but look at the size of that. Alright, so it's just like it's also really thick. Really awesome. Alright, so we're gonna check. Awesome. <laughs> oh, the box is it's like it's, it's it's like magnetic. All right, so we got this manuals. Inside the manual, it's just two pieces of paper that you know you don't read that much, but okay, two pieces awesome English, Chinese, etc. <laughs> okay, awesome. Four years warranty of cards, nice. Side. All right. I already opened this, so I already removed the plastic, so I can check if it's <coughs> nothing's broken. All right, so let's check out this one first. It's a small robot. All right, it looks nice. It's like it has a rubber. It's made of rubber. No, plastic. Rubbery plastic. See? Nice. It's a small hours robot. They gave me the big one before, but now they're giving us really cute one. I like this better than the than the big than the big one. Awesome. Also included in the box is this awesome sticker. It's it's also like the same as before, like on the previous sticker that I got from the 2080Ti. It's like aluminum metallic, aluminum metallic. Okay, let me show it to you. Yep. 
or some stickers. So it's gonna look good on your on your CPU. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's put it back. <coughs> All right, so we're gonna pull out the monster GPU. Damn, it's so heavy. Alright, so... Wow. Imagine the size. I have a 3090 in my computer. It's also... 3090 is really fast. I'm really not sure why it's this so big, you know. And the power is like a 1624, 24 holes on it. <laughs> the Ventus uh, 3090 MSI is, on, is only using uh, 16. This one's using 24. It's really, really, it's really eating a lot of power. Oh, it's a very, very big card. All right. So I'm going to give you a nice close up of this. All right. <clears throat> All right. It's really, really be careful. Awesome card, man. And I was on the top top of the card this is the LCD alright so it's really nice I'm not gonna install it yet so I'll leave the plastic for now uh, yes it's really really nice when you put it so there you go that's the LCD so it's gonna look good. I'm gonna do another video tomorrow if I can plug it in. It's really, really big. Alright, so I'm gonna take some measurements. So it's like whoa, three inches thick. Damn, really big. Really, really. Inches. So no worries. It will fit on my on my CPU. I have a very very big case. Anyway, it's really large. And the fan rotates like this and the other one goes back. Alright, so this is just a short video showing this. It's, we're not gonna... I'm not gonna do some uh, techy speed test because I don't have the, the comparison GPUs for this to compare. That's really, really great. It's very heavy. Put it back. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Close it. All right. So that's the. What you see only in the box. There's nothing underneath the the foam, I'm sure. So what do you think of this card? So it's really heavy and I'm a bit sure that the speed difference of this versus the Ventus MSI is not really really 
big. Maybe one, two seconds. Fresh for sec uh, FPS versus the Ventus. So, as far as I know, the, the speed is not really, really big, but this one can really uh, overclock. So, that's the advantage of it. It's really, really thick. Uh, really thick uh, heatsink and with those lots of uh, parts, uh, power pins that you, it will be taking like 24 hours, <laughs> it can accept a lot of power. And then 24 GB, same as Ventus, it's also have 24, so the speed is not, it won't be a big thing, but the price. The price is really big. The the Ventus 3090 costs only like maybe ninety five thousand, and this one costs now around uh, hundred um, twenty seven thousand, I think. So pesos, twenty thousand Philippine pesos. So it's really, really big, uh, 90 plus 30, uh, 30, 000, 30, 35,000 difference. Actually, I mean this, 35,000 difference. So if, if you don't overclock a lot, and then you can go with this if you don't have a lot of budget, but if you want a really, really premium, premium GPU, you can take this one. It has its own LCDs and you can monitor its temperatures and all of this stuff. So it's really nice. If you're gonna have a GPU, which you're gonna stay with it for a long time, so get this one. Uh, so that's it. And uh, if you wanna, if you don't, you know, some people don't need this kind of. Because if you're just gaming, if you compare a 3080 with 3090, the frames per second is not that far. It's not that far in that it's versus the price. It's it's really it's not uh, reasonable. So if you're just gaming, get a 3080. But if you're working get the 3090 because you will you, you you will really use the memory if you are working on uh, videos animations and 3d jobs so that's it and uh, if you want uh, some people also compare the 3080 with the 3090 with the frames FPS you cannot compare them both because the 3090's memory is really big and then games will not consume all those memories. So the 3080 has this memory and some games don't consume them all of the memories as well. So the games will just stay in this memory. So the speed will be just almost the same. Maybe frames per second, 10, 5 versus the 3080 sometimes. So. 20 depends on other games but 20 frames 10 15 it's not a really really for me it's it's not a very big frame for a second difference so if you're speaking about like 50 frames 80 difference then <laughs> the versus the price <laughs> It's not worth it if you are just playing games. But if you are working, then good. I experienced a lot of uh, speed when I was uh, rendering my stuff here. Projects get finished faster. So that's the best uh, what I can advice on this because the, I use it for work. So that's it for now. There's nothing much to explain on this. 
Alright, so hope you enjoy my video and if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe below and bash that ding dong bell so if I have another video you will be aware. So good luck and stay safe. Have a mask on your face when you go. Bye bye.